So in a recent article on Bold.com, it says, so you meet someone you really like, but somewhere between that first date and a full-blown relationship, you realize that you're on totally different pages when it comes to religion. Mm. So the article also lists nine things to consider, such as, are you willing to partake in their religion? Because religious beliefs are so important in a relationship, we all know this, but I always wondered with you guys, when it comes to religion, would you be willing to date someone who has different religious views than you? I would. Yeah? I would. Um, I don't, wouldn't mind what the religion was unless it was something that I was completely offended by. But also, I feel like as long as someone believes in God or a God, it doesn't have to be my God, okay. then I'm okay with so that. So you wouldn't go with the atheist? No, I wouldn't go with an atheist, no, because they don't believe in God. But as long as they have a belief in something, because I think s something higher than you keeps you accountable. What if it was a rich integrity. atheist? Say that again? It was a super rich atheist. And he's fine. Well, fine. <laughs> he's fine. No, God's he's more sweet important. To you. God's more important. Thank you Good so much. Good answer, God. 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 Couldn't do it, but I have done it in the past. Yeah. I've actually um, dated somebody who was not religious, who didn't really believe in religion in that sense. And um, while I didn't think it would be an issue, I think he had more of an issue with the fact that I did believe in something and I wanted to go to church on Sundays and he would drop me off and full on like laugh and make fun of me. That I really? was going to church and just how corny it was or you're listening to someone tell you how to like, so wait, laugh and oh, make for sure. fun of I was, you? For sure. He didn't make fun of so much of that I believed in God or any yeah. of those things. It was more that I believed in a sense of community in a church. That I felt I needed to go somewhere on Sunday yeah. to have that community, to have communal worship. Like that kind of thing was made fun of. So I recognize that I, I love, love, love nothing more than waking up in the morning and being able to pray with my husband and knowing that someone's covering me in prayer mm -hmm. and that we believe the same yeah. thing. Um, that brings me comfort to know yeah. that when we're going through hard times, we can pray together about whatever it is that we're going through or that I'm going through. And bigger than that, I, I was gonna say exactly what you said, that I love that he has somebody bigger to yeah. that holds him accountable, that it's bigger than us. Yeah. And that means a lot to me and I, I need that. But I think it was more about different religions. Yeah. Like if someone's it, a Muslim versus yeah, Christian, someone's yeah. a Christian yeah. and you know, would you guys want to get together? Um, I, I know a I lot of people that. have done it. Oh, you I would. know. I know a lot of people. I don't think I could do that simply because I really, I recognize that I need that. I need that prayer life with my partner. I need that comfort of knowing that we both believe in the same things, that our views are aligned, especially with the idea of wanting to family plan. I'd like to raise my children. Right, I think it, was... gets, it can get complicated. I'm sure it's been done. Yeah. And yeah. kudos to anyone who has been able to do that. But I personally know that I want to raise my children with faith and, yeah. and, and in a specific thing, in Jesus, to be very specific. Yeah. And um, that, that's something that would it's be important It's just that you me. have to remember, too, religion can make you stronger. Um, also, you have to consider your children. If you're gonna have children with yeah, someone, that's big. are they religious if they're not a believer or if they're of a different religion? It's it's so important because religion really guides your life. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Agree. So, and more than just religion, agree. it's like, what is the relationship that you want your child to have on a spiritual level? What is the relationship that they have with God, with Jesus, yeah. whoever it is, Allah? Yeah. What is that and how do you foster that as parents if you have two different that's I what religions. I look at. I look well, at more of the relationship. Like, yeah. you can have two Christians who one just believes in God and one is devout about going to church yeah. every Sunday. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. what is the relationship? Because I think not only does having a relationship with some higher power keep you accountable, but you can each other. You can fall out of your faith real quick in a relationship and get For busy sure. with life and work. And if that person isn't praying all the time, you forget to pray and you, when you get mad, and you take it out on yourself when you're just like, yo, let it go to God. You need somebody to remind you, like, God's got you. Right, Don't worry about right, you. Right, right, right. So I, I always want to know about the relationship. And, and even with Jeezy, like, I know that he had faith. And I also know he had a very tumultuous upbringing and, mm. and, and a journey where faith wasn't always present for him. Yeah. So when I asked him today, like, what, what does faith mean to you? He was like, I know there's a God. I believe in God because my grandma taught me so. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what beyond that, what does that mean? Mm. So you believe there's a God. So to him, God was just like somewhere there, and then when he dies, maybe he'll see who that But is. see, I like the but type of people, cause you can talk to them. Yeah. But yeah. I had one, my, my ex-college boyfriend, I had to let him go, cause he got into what I believe was a cult. Oh. And that's what I'm saying, oh. when you gotta look at that's something. Intense. Cause he was believing in 
a man being God. And he told me that at dinner one day, I was like, huh, you believe who? <laughs> what? Like he actually And that's what I'm saying, that wow. you have to make that hard decision. And we had been together like two or three years, but I, you know, it was oh, my life. And yeah. I was like, you know what? Right. You go your way, I right. go my way. And I made the right decision. So Money is religion lived, is very man. important. These yes, stories, it's thanks to this show, <laughs> I get to hear about the juicy bits that sometimes not even included in your book. But uh, exactly. we're gonna take a break. There's so much more girl chat where Lottie's gonna open up her delicious life right after this. You're watching the real.